Hello YouTube friends, it's 2023. Happy New Year to all. I hope everything is going good with you. Career, family, love life, everything I wish is going good. Let's welcome 2023 with a positive attitude, right? So today I am going to share some tips that I learned as a foreigner living in Denmark for almost 8 years. I'm talking about smartphone applications that could make your life easier. These are just some of the basic applications. I will make another video for the travel applications. You can always download them on the App Store or Google Play Store. But disclaimer first, this video is not sponsored by any of these applications. I just made this based on my own experience as I was also struggling as a foreigner when I was new in Denmark. But up to this very day, I am still using them and is really, really helpful. I hope this will also come in handy to you. So let's go. Number one, Meet ID. In order to access public service solutions here in Denmark, like tax, student grants, your bank, and many more, MITID serves as your personal digital ID for login and digital signature. You can approve activities, transactions, and payments by swiping your finger on the screen. It is also known as an authenticator key that a person logging in is really you. Number two is eBox. This is connected to your MIT ID or NEM ID. eBox is a secure electronic mailbox. So instead of mails coming into your physical mailbox, this is a digital version of it. It's paperless. Companies, public authorities, and private citizens use this to send confidential emails directly to you. Number three, job index. This is a portal that helps you find job. Companies post job vacancies for you to apply. You just have to make a profile, upload your CV, and you will have an overview of thousands of job advertisements. Number four, LinkedIn. This is like your online resume, your online CV. I think everybody knows what LinkedIn is because it's famous all over the world. So yeah, they also use it here in Denmark, almost the same as Job Index. You can also use LinkedIn to find the right job or internship or even just connect to your network. And of course, build your own professional profile. Number 5. Tendenske Ordbo This one is very helpful when you are just starting to learn Danish. Since this application describes and explains the meaning of the Danish word, phrases, or sentences in Danish, this will help you broaden your vocabulary. Unlike just by translating it, it just interprets the word in the language you choose. DDO will help you understand the meaning of Danish words. Number six, mobile pay. This is your digital wallet covering all the payments. But first, you have to provide your bank details to the app. Then you can start using this with your friends, supermarket, online shops, physical shops. And you can also receive payments or money through mobile pay. Good thing is, this works in real time, meaning instant money received, just like when you receive a text message. Although, there is a limit that you can only send 10,000 Danish crowns. Number 7. Your own bank application. Just like for example mine, I have Nordea Bank. 
Your own bank application allows you to have access to your own bank account. Most of the time, this helps you make transactions without even going to the physical bank unless it's necessary. Number eight, DBA or Denblo Avis. This is Denmark's largest advertising market with buying, selling, or exchanging for private individuals and companies. This is almost the same as the Facebook marketplace. Number nine, this is one of my favorite application. It's eTilbud Avis. It has a catalog of all the sales or offers in every stores, supermarkets, or shops. When you enter your address, the nearby shop's catalog will appear. So you can just choose where to buy your groceries or even compare prices in each places. Number 10, the Plus application. Like Lidl Plus, Footex Plus, Bilka Plus, and many more these applications give you an advantage to have discount coupons weekly offers and many more it's kind of like loyalty card since you are a member you will get discounted prices compared to those who are not number 11 just eat this app helps you search for local takeaway restaurants place orders and pay online you can also choose pickup or delivery options normally these are for lazy people like me number 12 too good to go the purpose of too good to go is to fight food waste by connecting users with stores and restaurants that have and sold food at the end of the day they sell it to a very low price for example in bakery instead of throwing the bread away they rather sell it or almost giving it away to customers because they are very cheap the food is still good to go so it's a win-win for both number 13 strom presa I just learned about this app lately because of the energy crisis that's happening in Denmark. So rather be clever on our usage, right? This app will show via graph which hours the electricity price is low or high. There you go! Those are the list of Danish applications you must download this 2023. I hope you learned something today. And please watch my video about Danish travel apps. That might also be of help to you, especially when you are new in Denmark. As a foreigner, or even Danish people use these. Well, why not? Almost everybody has a smartphone nowadays. So why not use it to make your everyday easy, right? Until next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.